Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on Life Assist and managing recorded clips. In version 9.6 we have worked on the clip library and also added the option to load clips and grades into a temporary reference channel. For managing grades, please see our other tutorial on Life Looks. Since Life Assist is a superset of Life Looks, it covers the same functionality. This video will be about managing recorded video clips. Let's dive right in. In this Life Assist project I am working with two cameras and have already recorded a couple of clips for different scenes. I have enabled multicam view so we can see all cameras at all times. Note that I have selected clips over here instead of grades. On the left side I can filter so Life Assist would only show me for instance clips from the A-cam and so forth. Over here I can search for clips so I can type in D1 to search for clips recorded on shooting day 1 or S1 for all clips of scene 1 and so forth. Now here comes the interesting part. The replay button and the attached drop down. As you can see the channel controller also features a replay button and the two actually do not do quite the same. The replay button up here in the channel controller acts as a quick key to play back whatever was last recorded. So as soon as the camera stops and playback is requested, this is the button to hit. The replay button down here in the clip library will play back whatever is currently selected in the library. This mechanism is pretty handy because it allows you to keep your selection here in the library and still play back whatever was last recorded real quick. Now for the drop down next to the replay button. It also features the replay function at the top. Right below is the show in dual view option. This option will load the selected clip in dual view, which we can also enable via this button down here or hotkey D. This way we can scrub through as we please and inspect the clip. This video is not being output through any of our SDI or NDI channels, but stays here in our UI only, so we can scrub and pause it without affecting the ongoing live signals. We can of course also wipe the right side against anything on the left side. Let me exit multicam view for a second and just look at the live A cam. If we now either hit this button or hotkey S on our keyboard, Life Assist will jump into split view and I can wipe back and forth using the bar. As long as we are in split or dual view, we can also simply drag and drop other recordings from down here into the right side of the viewport. The drop down down here also allows us to put another live camera into the right side and compare that to whatever is selected in the channel controller and therefore on the left side. Hitting hotkey D or S again will exit dual or split view. Lastly we have the option to open a clip as a reference. Doing this will have Life Assist create a temporary reference channel which the clip is loaded into. This has several advantages. First of all, I can output the reference channel through a dedicated SDI or NDI output by setting this up here in the settings tab of the setup dialog. Other than that, I have set my dual head monitor to always show the active channel. So if I select the reference channel here in the channel controller, I have this channel full screen on my dual head output to show to the DP for instance. Doing this with a reference channel is much quicker than creating a reference clip channel first and finding the right clip in the folder structure. Next I can work on the clip if needed. If my clips were recorded without the grade burned in or if I didn't have any grade active during the recording in the first place, I can now go ahead and tweak the clips if necessary in the color effects tab. Let's just make this clip a little brighter and desaturate it. Done. This grade is now saved separately and associated with the corresponding recording which you can already tell by looking at the thumbnail over here in the library. So if I clear the reference channel using the reset button here and load a different clip, it comes in unaltered. However, if I now go back to the first clip and load that, it will come in with the grade applied. I can even disable the grade or continue to tweak it further. But maybe let's look at a more complex use case. Here we have a live green screen feed coming in. Let's quickly create a composition, replacing the background and putting something into the foreground. Load the background into comp A, go to comp B and load the other actor. Refine the key a little 
and put the wizard into the foreground. Now we just add a crop of 900 pixels and we're good. Now for a quick previs, this might be sufficient, although I could certainly improve on the key and color, but I'll purposely leave this as unfinished as it is for now. Now looking at the recording settings, we have burn in grade enabled. If we now record the scene, everything will be baked and we cannot refine the key after the fact. So let me turn this off. Now we would record nothing but the bare camera signal, which gives us all the freedom to change things after the recording took place. The other thing we need to do is save this setup as a new grade with a click onto the corresponding button. Done. Now let's record the scene. Perfect. Checking into the library, we can find the recording here in the list. Let's open it in a reference channel. As expected, we're being presented with the bare camera output. Now all that's left to do is to switch to the grades list over here, select our just saved grade and apply it to the active channel, which currently is the reference channel. Of course, this way we can also easily save certain presets as grades and apply them to any live camera signal as well, not just to a reference channel. If we now go back to the color of X tab, we can tweak the color of the talent here in the primary or numeric menu. We can refine our key and even add more effects to the whole composite if we want to. This grade will now be tied to the recorded clip in the library and get recalled with it from now on. Note that the thumbnail will only show the primary grade we applied, not the entire comp. But looking at the barcode up here, you can tell that there's more going on on this clip than just a simple grade. That's it for a quick overview on the clip and grade library in Life Assist and Life Looks. See you next time. Bye.